Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open Video Series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, Head of Company Services based in Vancouver. Joining me today is Haya Don, the CEO of Asino Resources. Welcome, Haya. I hope you're doing well and you're safe today. I'm doing well. Thanks for having us, um, Arnie. I'm calling in from the other side of the world in Cape Town. Excellent. So a few questions for you today. Um, let's start at the top. Tell us about your business. So we're a gold exploration company active in Namibia, in southwestern Africa. We um, are exp doing exploration. We have not uh, got a mine yet, but our vision is to find a significant deposit, which we have done, and then to develop it into an operating gold mine. So that's really what Asina is all about. Can you tell us about operating in Namib Namibia and uh, the jurisdictions in which you operate there? Yeah, sure. So Namibia is a, an independent uh, country. It's um, it, it used to be governed by South Africa for a long time, but became independent in 1990. I'm a Namibian citizen by birth. I was born there, grew up there. I'm a mining engineer. And we came to Canada to raise money on your exchange in order to develop projects down there. So um, Canada has been a, a friend of Namibia for a long time. And certainly now with, with uh, Canadian capital, we, um, we can do what we are doing. Um, you asked me about operating in Namibia. Well, I'm a Namibian citizen, so obviously I'm partial to this place. But for North American viewers, um, you can imagine it to be much like Nevada. It's a, it's a desert environment. It's sparsely populated. It's very peaceful, very organized, very easy to operate. It really is a, a fantastic place uh, to be. Fantastic. Um, what are some of the upcoming catalysts that investors can watch for in the next year or so? Yeah, thanks. I should have said it in your second question about what we do. Um, you know, what is key is that we made a gold discovery uh, towards the end of last year, which um, which really seems to be coming into its own now. So um, we're an exploration company, so we're heavily focused on drilling because um, we are now advancing that discovery to the resource stage, um, which is which is one of the key catalysts um, that's hopefully going to be coming up in the next year. So I would say to answer your question, lots of drill results, lots of technical studies, um, ultimately culminating in a maiden resource declaration, which is always the aim for, for exploration companies in our case in gold. But I think all exploration companies aim for that. Fantastic. What are the key investment highlights you'd like to emphasize for Osino? Yeah, I would say there are three. Uh, one is, um, as you know, we're an exploration company, or maybe I should say as by way of background, we're an exploration company. So we are subject to a number of key risks. Um, and I would say the most important ones are financing. You know, we only spend money, we have no income. So therefore being adequately funded at all times is one of the key risks. And that's the first important aspect with us. You know, we have some real blue chip um, shareholders like Ross BT, Resource Capital Funds. These are all well-known entities in the Canadian resource investing space and many others. So we, we have a very strong, well-funded shareholder base. That's the first key aspect. I think the second key aspect is what you asked me about earlier, Namibia. Um, we are in Africa, which and, you know Africa sometimes does not have such a great reputation. But Namibia is quite different. In fact, Namibia, from a risk perspective, is, is, is arguably similar to Canada. We're really in a good jurisdiction to operate in. Very safe, very easy to operate. And then lastly, uh, you know, we have a management team, including myself. We know what we're doing. We've done this before. We've delivered a number of exits to shareholders before. So we've delivered value and um, we've proven our ability to execute. And, and I think that's key also for exploration companies. So I would say those are the key takeaways um, for our company. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us today and uh, look forward to your future news flow. Thank you very much for this opportunity.